Hey everybody, I'm Manny. Welcome back to my channel, SoCal Shave. So um, we're gonna get into a shaving video. Uh, my first shaving video that I've ever done using a new product here today or a new item. Um, it being uh, hardware, a hardware item. And I wasn't gonna do a shaving video, um, but I got inspired by uh, Carl, Carl Kiefer or C. Kiefer on uh, YouTube. So if you guys get a chance, if you haven't uh, checked out his channel yet, go over and check out Carl or C. Kiefer. And his name is Carl, Carl Kiefer. Uh, so I was watching a video just a few minutes ago and he inspired me to get up and do a shave. So here we are. <laughs> so I'm going to be using, um, let me see, a little bit of a mail call, new products, and some of the products that were sent over, some of the stuff that I already have and have tried. So uh, one of them I haven't tried here. This was my mail call. This was my winning from Prohibition Style Accoutrements. Um, this was sent over from Justin. I was one of the first place winners. And he sent over a nice, beautiful, genera uh, generous uh, amount of goodies in the mail call along with the soap. I was just supposed to get this five ounce soap, as you can see here. And um, I talked to Justin just yesterday via uh, Instagram by text message, I guess if you if that's what you wanna call. Um, and he uh, told me that this is not a five ounce tub. There's more in here. I think he said it's close to six ounces, nine ounces, nine ounces, eight ounces, something like that. <laughs> Forgive me, guys. If I remember, I'll put it. I'll put the correction down on the comments. Uh, but yeah, that don't uh, go by what this says. That there's more in there than than uh, than it says. <clears throat> um, the next one is going to be. Um, this here and this will be my first shave at uh de shave um which is, what i mean by that is those of you who don't don't know um this takes uh de blades cut in half so it takes half blades and um so never try one of these before and basically you they the spine or the razor piece this is not the razor, but I guess you can call this the uh, spine blade, whatever you want to call this whole piece here. It splits in two and it has, um, give me a second guys, I did that the wrong way. <clears throat> it splits in two, if you guys can see, and it has these two little nubs where you put the uh, half DE blades, close it down, and this is the part that uh, locks down over both end pieces, if you can see there and uh, secures a DE blade. So that's my first one. I do have a Shavette that takes, <clears throat> um, that takes the, uh, what do you call the, um, the Feathers Artisan Club, um, the Feathers, Feather Artist Club blades, <laughs> excuse me guys. So if you press down the uh, back part of the spine, the blade area uh, where you put the blade in opens up and it takes um, these blades here compared to, I have a blade from a, a previous shave. Um, if you guys can tell the difference there, uh, the size difference. So you'll end up snapping this in half to get a size like this uh, when you put it into the blade. So. I know that's a lot of information for you guys um, and it doesn't don't really need to explain any of that stuff because there's a lot of information out there and you guys probably already know um, but I I just threw it in there just in case um, anybody has any questions out there um, this will be my first time using the, that razor um, or a Chevette so you guys might see some blood here today uh, a lot of you guys like that which is weird <laughs> so um, he also sent over uh, these razors, uh, these blades here, the Voskhod or Voshod, however you guys want to pronounce it. Um, I've already tried these. <clears throat> these are fantastic blades. I do got a pack of hundreds. So let me go ahead and go ahead and um, brand new blade. And all you do is snap in half. Meet, meet them halfway here. And you hear that crack. And a lot of people like to go back and crack it this way just to make sure that they've been split properly. And then you just open it up carefully and you take off the half snapped blade. 
<clears throat> take it out the package or the wrapper and I'll try to do this without slicing my fingers open and you can see that they've already been snapped in half you guys can see that so we'll just take out one of the sides carefully set that off to the side the unused and don't try this at home guys there you are I just did that just so that way I can open it and show you guys because I've never done this before and it is kind of uh, hard to do this at the same time to show you guys um, yeah this is not as easy as I thought it was gonna be to show on camera but basically like this right and then you just close the other piece over it <clears throat> And I'm gonna have to go off camera for this guys because I do not want to slice my fingers. You just put the other piece over the nubs. Be very careful when you do so. <clears throat> and I believe I did that right. I'm hoping. <laughs> okay. So that's placed over the nubs and don't know if you guys can see the blade there down at the bottom and then you just lock this back part right over it then not to put your finger down at the bottom because there is a blade already in there and just snap it down and that's it it's not complicated to do it this is my first time ever doing it on camera uh, or Regardless, you're seeing this all for the first time. So it's not hard, it's just hard to do it on camera without trying to cut your finger open. So, let's see. And I'll tell you right now, I am nervous because I've never used one of these before. <laughs> so I don't know what the shape is gonna look like. And um, I'll be using my Sterling board brush here today again. Getting back on track with that. Our aftershave will be a checkered flag from Masters. This is a fantastic scent. Um, and I figured this will go really well with this because um, it is a neroli and citrus scent. And uh, that aftershave does uh, pair well, really well with uh, citrus scents. So <clears throat> that would be that. And we'll use this aftershave here today. Uh, aftershave Bomb, the 501 sensitive from Aquaelva. <clears throat> All right, guys, so I do have my puck or my tub blooming here. Gonna go ahead and take the bloom water out. <clears throat> and soak out or take whatever's remaining in the brush. And we'll just start lathering up. And forgive me guys, I have a tendency, <laughs> I have a tendency to not show you guys when I'm lathering up my soaps onto the brush. I forget, there's so much stuff you gotta remember at the same time when you're making a shaving video. You know, you wanna make sure you uh, mention all the topics that you'd like to mention and sometimes stuff gets by you and I tend to forget this process all the time. Whether if I'm gonna do a lather on my face, I still don't uh, show you when I'm lathering out of the out of the bowl what I'm getting onto the brush. And if I am lathering in a bowl, like say I take a sample out and put it into a shaving bowl or a shaving scuttle, I still forget to show you guys that process as well. So forgive me, this is a, a, a half soft soap. It's not firm, not really firm, but it's not very soft um, in between. Definitely, definitely not a crop. Don't know what this lathers, uh, this soap is like, so I don't want to take any chances. I want to make sure I give it the best chance to succeed and uh, load it up really well. And we'll see how it goes. All right. 
so we'll go with that and I'm pretty sure that's probably a lot but like at the same time I mentioned before I don't want to have any issues with the brush and if I have to go back to the tub we'll go back to the tub wow <laughs> well, this stuff has got a nice sheen to it it's it's a nice and glossy wow that is oh my god okay i just hope that i did not get a reaction to his soaps because this looks like oh wow if, if you guys can i don't know if you guys can see the sheen on there mm -hmm. there you go maybe you guys can pick that up so just cleaning off the soap or the, whatever's remaining on the tub. <clears throat> oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. This is crazy. Look at that. <laughs> All right. So it was pretty cool that I got my first actual uh, DE Shavette. Never had one before. Now I have something I can put on a um, Shavette world, <laughs> the Facebook group. some water A little more. Justin, this stuff feels good. It feels really rich and creamy. And it takes a amount, uh, nice amount of, of uh, water. That's nice. The brush feels like it's, it looks like it's breaking in. It feels a little different now. You guys can see the difference between when I showed you guys before. There's no, not many very lines, not something about that doesn't sound right. <laughs> um, 
when I showed you guys last time, you can see all the little scratchy lines from when the brush was leaving behind. And it doesn't seem to be showing that anymore. A uh, little bit there, see? But not very much. You can tell, see? And I'm not feeling any reaction. And it does not, it does got a nice scent to it. And it tastes good. <laughs> um, it's a it's a light scent, but it's a nice it's a nice one at that. <clears throat> All right, so gonna open up our razor and let's go to town. It has been a while since I have used a shave at. So I am a bit rusty. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's hard to show you guys this stuff, man. And it is nice to be able to use, it is nice to be able to use both hands, but if it's not possible, don't try to tempt it. I believe I have um, a little bit over 24 hours worth of growth. I'm just making, showing you guys that it is cutting. Not much, but there's really not much there. The um, slickness is fantastic. Uh, the scent is probably, I would say, um, 
on a scale of one to five, or on a scale of one, yeah, on a scale of one to five, it's like a, about a three. The slickness is fantastic though, man. Fantastic first pass. Close up my razor. Smells good. I never thought I'd see that from the from this brush. It's holding on to lather now a little bit. Not a lot. But it's getting there. You guys are seeing it guys, I'm not editing this video. Just so that way you guys can see the process of this brush. Fantastic. Warm up my blade. Second pass. Cross grain.
Now this, the scale part, the metal scale part, it is kind of back heavy, so it's kind of hard to hold on to it. But I guess with time, it'll be easier. I'm trying to try to pull it back from me getting tired holding it this and it's making me want to put pressure on the blade. Wife just got home, heard the car alarm ring. <clears throat> okay, I'll leave it right there. Right, that was a uh, second pass down. I don't know if there's gonna be any more, any more soap to do this last pass. And we'll just ring out what's in it. And if you guys who see this, I am doing a month of April with this brush, breaking in process. So uh, Justin or anybody who follows Prohibition style soaps, um, his soaps are fantastic. As you guys saw in the first and second pass, 
and uh, <clears throat> this brush is it still in its breaking in process so um, it doesn't hold lather it's doing it a whole lot better now so don't hold it against Justin Justin your soaps are fantastic brother I'm really enjoying this and I got finally <laughs> finally this is the first video well the first yeah first video first shave where I've actually been able to get at least second pass and, and, and a third, so. Cause it doesn't seem right about that. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. My practice has been off. It's been it's been a long time.
I said I'm being so quiet because I'm just concentrating. Well, that was a fantastic shave, guys. Let me just rinse off. Wow, I'm very impressed. I really am. For being a first time using a uh, shavette, and I haven't used a, uh, or that kind of style DE shavette, I got a good shave. I got one weeper here, and it looks like that was, that was it. And, Guys, it's fine. It's, it's really great. I think I missed. I think I missed something there. There we go. And um, you always, you know, you can't go sideways with a shavette. Um, so I'm gonna leave that alone. I want to. I don't want to irritate it. But oh man, I'm really impressed. I'm really, really happy with that. Steve, I'm Steve. <laughs> Justin, thank you, buddy. So we're gonna go in with the aftershave here. And this smells good, guys. I like the scent of the, um, I like the scent of um, the soap. And you obviously know you don't wanna do a fool's pass go up against your grain and skip and cut your nose so you can hear that here it's fine but then i have a little against the grain this way and it gets a little close to the lip and i am not risking that what they shave that no sting from the aftershave i'm really impressed guys gonna go in with the Aqua Velvet Sensitive 5 and 1. <clears throat> That's what I'm going with. Wow. So impressed. Give me a second while I rinse out my brush. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and do a recap. Went in with Prohibition style um, accoutrements. And this is Peaky Blinders. With the, yeah, Peaky Blinders with an S. There you go. And this is Neroli Citrus and Fern. Great scent. Big old tub of soap. Already rinsed off. Great stuff, great cushion, great uh, glide, great slickness, protection. Everything is there, guys. Really impressed. Finally, I'm getting somewhere with the sterling board brush. Finally, finally, you guys are seeing it. I got three lathers out of it. The third one was, it was almost didn't, didn't think it was going to get out, but um, it's, it's getting there, guys. Um, the tips are starting to spill a little bit more now. You guys can see. It is getting there and that is all mean. There's no uh, cheating involved. So I'm really happy with that. I, You guys, there's a backstory to it when I talk about cheating because there was something I had an idea of doing, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna do it on camera after all. So uh, it's, it looks like it looks like the brush is succeeding here and, and getting to where I'd like it to be. I went with Nivea Sensitive 5-in-1. Nivea. Aqua Velva Sensitive 5-in-1. Went with the great uh, Shavette that was sent over from um, <clears throat> Justin at Prohibition Style as another goodie that was in the package. Went with the uh, Checker Flag Masters. I know they're all out of order, guys, forgive me. And went with the Vashka Blaze or Vashka Blaze that he also sent over. Um, let me know what the name of this uh, razor is, please, uh, Justin. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, so I can go ahead and put down what the razor is named or what it's called. Um, but that's my shave, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys like what you see. If you do, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe down below. And don't forget, don't forget to hit that little bell icon that's down at the bottom so you get my next future notifications whenever my uh, next videos pop up so you guys don't miss out. 
And uh, yeah, thank you guys very much uh, for joining me and I will catch you guys on the next one. Uh, Y'all stay safe out there. Later, guys.